Welcome back to our Every Trust YouTube channel. Today we are learning how to make this beautiful curly detail that we have here. So we made this using on Gaza fabric. I can actually use this to create any design of your choice. So I'm going to be creating several designs with this and it's a very simple tutorial to make. It can also be used to form a sleeve by just interwining it like this. You can see how lovely this is looking. So if this is something you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this design, I'm going to work with this organza. It's about half yard organza and this fishing line. Okay, so the fishing line is about I think one millimeter. It's very very thick, as you have seen. So those are the two main things that you need for this tutorial. So it's a very simple DIY. So the first thing I'm going to do is to hem it. Okay, remember organza frills a lot. So I'm going to hem the two sides by just folding it twice and then I'm going to go ahead and sew it. So after hemming it now, I'm going to start creating the channels for my fishing line. I have hemmed it on both sides. You can see that it is now knit on the two sides. So the next thing is for me to start creating these channels. So depending on the intervals that you want between each of your channel, you may need to mark it out before you start to sew. But I think I'm just going to eyeball it. So now what you need to do is to start creating channels. So like I said, this can be maybe one inch interval or one and a half inches from the starting point here, or two two inches interval, depending on what you want. So. If you have one here you just mark your one inch all around and then you pick it like this so after picking it you can see the way i'm folding it you go ahead and sew it on the sewing machine creating a channel for your bone for your sorry for your fishing line okay so now what you just need to make sure of is that by the time you finish sewing sewing your channel it should be enough to accommodate the the fishing line that you're working with so there are several ways you can actually attach this fishing line you can just sew your bony channels all around and then when you finish sewing it you fix your fishing line after sewing it or you just sew and then as you go you dip your fishing line inwards like this so when you sew you push it inwards you sew you push it inwards depending on what you want to do okay so i'm on the sewing machine now and like i said i'm just going to eyeball it so i'm going to be using about one inch interval between them so if you want to insert your fishing line as you go all you just need to do is to put your fishing line in between them so you can see this is my fishing line here so you just dip it in between them like this before you cover it up and then you sew so this is going to be a bit time consuming so i prefer to just sew my channel and then fix my fishing line later on or if you don't mind doing this and you want to fix it as you go this is how you are going to do it so you just sew it gently then after sewing you place your fishing line in between again and then you sew till you get to the end okay so but if you are you can see now that this one already has my fishing line embedded in it you can see it so if you want to create channel all you just need to do is to sew like this without fixing your fishing line but you have to make sure that whatever it is that you are sewing is not too wide okay because you don't want your fishing line running around on the inside the channel so you make sure that it is not too wide but at the same time it is wide enough for you to accommodate your one millimeter fishing line so i'll go ahead now and create my channels then i'll bring it back for us to see how i'm going to be inserting my both my fishing line one after the other so i finished encasing my fishing line and the first channel so all subsequent ones i intend to pass the fishing line after creating the channel so this way it's going to be faster for me to sew so now after folding it like i said i'm just eyeballing it so now you sew very very close okay just enough to pass your fishing line through it and then you start to sew it so after spreading it out like this you sew and then you spread it again just imagine that you have your desired width that you want between each of your channels you can also measure as you should as you sew so i'm just going to sew it very tiny and that is how i'm going to fill up 
all the space that I have for this organza. So after sewing the channels, I'll go ahead and fix my fishing line. Okay, so I have created all the channels now. You can see what I have. So now the next thing is for me to start inserting my fishing line gently. Okay, so this may be a bit tedious, so you have to take your time when you're doing this. So the fishing line is going to be fixed inside the casing and the casing is a bit tiny so you have to take your time while fixing this okay so after seeing it you are going to be dipping it inside gently okay you can see me dipping it so you can see how tiny it is very important for this to be tiny like i said you want it to fit to, you want your fishing line to fit into it perfectly you don't want it too wide so that the fishing line is not going to be running around in it so i'm going to keep fixing the fishing line all around by just pushing it gently like this and then you adjust it then you come back and push it so i'll fix it to all of the channels that i have so because this is a tutorial you can see that the width between each of my channel is just is around one and a half inches so you can make yours maybe one inch or 0.75 so that you can have more coils but i just did this for the purpose of the tutorial so i just run a space of just around one and a half inches between each of my channels so now i'll go ahead and fix the fishing line to all of the channels now and bring it back to show us over i'm going to have to preset all the fishing line in the channels that i created and you can see how coily it is looking so the next line is to trim off the excess fishing line that you have here and then you're going to pipe it on this part so that it's going to be neat on both sides then you get take it to the sewing to the mannequin and then you get creative and form any style you want with this so you can actually use a boning for this actually but the boning is stronger than a fishing line so it may be very difficult for you to style it or coil it anyhow you want that is why it is recommended that you use fishing line for this particular style so i'll take this the mannequin now then we'll see what i have formed with this okay so this is one style so you just need to be creative with it and style it anyhow you want the fishing line you have there is going to make it coarse you can see the curly effect that we have here so you make sure that the spaces you have between your channel is not this wide so that you can have even more curly effect so this is one style i'm going to remove this now and then create another style so where i paint all you just need to do is to tag this to your bodies and it's going to stay you can see that you cannot lose your curl so i'll bring this out now and then create another design it can also form a sleeve by just interwining it like this so that was why i emphasized that using fishing line just makes you manipulate it easily because a bony may not be easily bent just like we are bending and cuffing this so it depends on how creative you have basically you can use this to create any style of your choice i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed it let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye